Hello everybody and welcome to Age of Warhammer. Today we have got something very special as Games Workshop has sent us a copy of the Leagues of Vatan army set um, to review. So thanks ever so much for that. Um, as you can see, this is the box set in front of us. I've already um, broken the seals on the side because I couldn't be bothered with faffing around with that during the actual video live. So I'm just gonna show you the actual box. So here it is, it looks a bit like an armor crate sort of jobby so it's cool design immediate impressions are the um artwork and that lot doesn't look like um doesn't look like warhammer 40,000 to me in uh in my opinion it looks a bit like something you'd get from like infinity or something like that but then you look on the back and that kind of you see the structure of the army and that looks quite a bit more like your your standard sort of games workshop let me see if i can zoom in um sort of box set so there you go uh looks really good so as you can see it comes with the uh with the codex it comes with transfer sheets apparently there's loads of transfers in there it comes with a token sheet um and some data cards uh it also comes with 20 hearthkin warriors three hernkin pioneers um, Uthar the Destined, but he can also be built as just a normal Jarl, I believe. And also an Ironhjar champion. So that's this guy here. So, first of all, uh, my first of all, my impressions. Um, I, I'm not a massive fan of this, is my first impressions. I'm not a massive fan of the design on the Pioneer. It looks good. I just, um, I think it looked better as a buggy with tracks and stuff like that, or, um, with wheels, but that's just me. I just don't like the way that everything's gone kind of hover. Um, second of all, the structure of the box, I think is good because you get two troops, a fast attack, um, I presume an elite and a leader. So that's quite cool, that's not too bad. And um, I think they actually mentioned the other day that this is this will actually be the equivalent of like a combat patrol. Um, I guess the, the final thing really to talk about before we go into the box is the actual overall aesthetic. To me, it's, they're not squats. Um, I've been in the hobby for over 30, well, around 30 years, and um, they, they don't feel like squats to me. They feel they feel like a new type of space marine, almost. I mean, they have bolters. Um, I, know, I know squats used to back in the day, and I understand that, but they just, I don't know, something about them just screams space marine to me and i know they've got um they've used the same sort of stcs and whatever else but it just i don't know i think they it would have been cool if they'd have just gone down the actual dwarf minor route um i've not all read all of the fluff yet but i understand that they're clones and stuff like that and them a lot of them are actually robots so I mean, these ones here are robots um artificial intelligence uh so yeah no there's a few decisions i think that <laughs> they've modernized it and it's not the way that i would have gone and i think that some people who are um fans of the original squats would potentially be disappointed too so that's just my first overall opinion of the force and of the uh, of the designs but um yeah so that's it so let's um let's get this open then and then what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to get the sprues out and we're going to have a better a closer look at them so there we go <clears throat> Oops. anybody who's seen uh, the seen um the recent uh preview from games workshop at the nova open will have seen this uh, this model as well and uh, probably this i think it's called a sagittar or it might actually be the land fortress. So yeah, nice artwork. And you, as I said, I've already done this, so made it easier to get into, but I've not actually looked inside yet, so. Oh dear. Wowzers. So there's all the sprues. A lot of sprues, as you can see. So nice, big, hefty set. We've already seen the contents, nice um, structure of an army. Um, there's the Pioneer. Um, but we'll look into all of those properly in a minute. We'll get a better backdrop. Nice 
piece of artwork. You could always frame these, but most of them come in with slight damage to them, so you probably couldn't. But there we go, nice bits of artwork. You'll probably fix them and put them in a frame. Ooh, there's the cards. So yeah, give you your data cards. We know what they'll do, so not much point in talking about that. They'll be inside the codex, which I'm going to do in a separate video for the codex. Uh, bases, we know what they do. That's all of those. And then there's the, there's the codex and the transfers. Again, I'm probably not going to go into too much detail with the codex because I've seen the whole thing's been leaked online, which you know, some numpty did that. I'm not impressed by that personally myself. I'm sure Games Workshop aren't. I'm sure there's a lot of people that will think, who cares? Games Workshop deserve it. But, you know, those are not really the type of people I associate with. So, um, yeah, that's it really. And as you can see, there's the codex. Lovely codex and the instructions and the, the tokens and stuff like that, which I'll go to go through at a later date. So, I'm just going to pop the uh, video on pause and then we'll have a look at the spruce. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, here we go. Let's have a look at the sprues. Again, I've already shown the bases, so I'm not going to be showing those again. First up, we have what looks like the champion, I believe. So that's the, this is the sprue for the champion. There we go, nice details. See if we can get to focus in. There we go, I think that's focused a little bit. But there we go, so that's it mostly. You can see the axe, the hammer. Got this strange thing here. Loads of just little details, glyphs and stuff. So there we go, so the leg. So yeah, lovely, lovely models. A lovely design for that. That's the first one. Next up, this is the uh, the character U Ufa, Ufa the Destined. There we go. Looks good, doesn't he? Nice design, nice axe, cool sword. Yeah. Lovely, really nice. And the other side. There's his head. Anyone who follows boxing, this one here reminds me a bit of Usyk. Uh, he's current world champion. He does look a bit like him. <laughs> um, let's see. And we've got these stones as well. So this one actually comes with two tactical rocks, if I remember correctly. So yeah, there we go. Um, I'll just show you the one of these because the three will be the same, but there's the Pioneer bike. Yeah, nice detail on the chest. Okay, so some traditional looking sort of hover mechanic. Um, yeah, really nice. Uh, like I said at the start of the video, not my cup of tea, but they are nice models. I'm not going to lie. Uh, if um, if they had if they had wheels on them, so it's more like a proper trike, I think they'd look um, they'd look really good. But I think everything's going the way of of uh, of hover now. I mean, personally for me, I think that uh, it's a bit it's a bit overdone. It used to be nice when it was just the original armies that had that, but I have a feeling that it's going to be. Um, even Imperial Guard are probably going to get a hover tank at this rate. But we will see. Okay, go, that's the two again. Same sprue, I think. It looks the same. No, maybe not, actually. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we'll go into some depth then. 
it is different. So there you go. Nice pickaxe. There's a cloak billowing there. We'll look at the heads in a second. They're facing the other way. Very cool. Yeah. The heads always seem to be facing the other way. Oh no, it is facing this way. You just can't really make it out very well. But there you go. So yeah, cool. That's the um the trikes, I think they're called. And then what we've got is two sets of the same here. Um, they're both the same sprue, so we'll go through one in depth. These are the, the hearth, Hearthkin, Hearthkin, however you pronounce it. A couple of nice heads up there. Okay. Loads of grenades and pouches and a nice little shovel down here. this sort of thing. Okay. Nice axe again. I like um I like that they've um, traditional dwarf they've kind of got a little bit of Norse iconography on them as well. So they are they're, they're pretty good. Um I have read the well not read but I have seen some of the rules that have been leaked and apparently these guys are particularly nasty if they uh have judgment tokens against the unit and they shoot at them. Um, it remains to be seen, obviously, I'm gonna probably, <laughs> I'll wait to see how it what pans out, but if it's true, some of it sounds quite nasty. Here we go, we've got two sets of the same again. So yeah, you see, they're the same. So this will be the other parts of the Hearthkin. Hearthkin, I'm just gonna go through the one. So here we go. Okay. Got bolters, what looks like plasma guns. Um, I know they've got grav grav guns as well. I think from what I saw in the, in the preview. So yeah, they've got all sorts of really cool equipment, and there's definitely some nods to um, to like uh, gravis armor and stuff. I mean, look at the. the the abdomen area in this one, it's um, it's really, really like um, uh, Gravis Armor Mark Ten, but yeah, that's, uh, which is it's quite, a, it's a nod to the STC thing, I guess. So there we go, pickaxes at the top and gentle nods to the mining and dwarf sides of things. So yeah, the, I mean the 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 ideas are there. I'm not sure personally. I'm not sure about the aesthetic. I think once I've built them and painted them, I have a feeling I'm just gonna fall in love with them. But for the moment, I'm still a little bit, a little bit dubious of them, but you can't love everything, you know? I mean, the latest crew and the, the Navy, I, I, you know, I thought were incredible. Um, there's very, very few models that Games Workshop does that I don't genuinely, like, absolutely fall in love with. So, I mean, it's uh, it's a strange one, but the, these these are just, I think it's going to take a little while to to grow on me. I think this is a good view here. Actually, I'm just going to go through them again. Um, the spruce just quickly because this is um, this kind of it looks a little bit clearer. So I'll just go through them again quickly. Um, <clears throat> here we go again. Really nice. and clear and you bring them closer and again you just kind of lose it but it's nice about there and let's do the two characters oh no do this, this guy again there you go very cool Okay. 
And the final one. There we go. That's rare, isn't it? To see uh, an area that's not even been used. <laughs> They're so good at, at making the sprues now that you don't really see stuff like that. But really cool. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I can. I'm, I'm looking at them now and I'm, I can actually feel myself yeah, really looking forward to getting into them. I think I'm going to do them like a nice metallic orange colour. Um, but yeah, they look, I think they look cool. Yeah, they are. They are good. They are good. So, yeah, that's it really. What's, um, that's the end of our preview. So what do what, what are your thoughts of them then? Um, be interested to see below. I, I, I'm not sure whether these are going to be a hit as an army or, or whether they'll be a bit of a miss as an army. So it'd be interesting to see how they do. I know it's something that people have wanted back for such a long time. They've wanted the squats, but then it's one of those cases of you know um, what's the phrase? Be careful of what you wish for because we wanted squats for ages and. I'm not sure what we've got is what was requested, but it is kind of an evolution of the originals. So, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those, isn't it? You know, I I, I mean the artwork. The, I, I love this. This guy looks great, um, and I think if it was a bit more like that, like a bit low tech, nice jackets and stuff like that, I think I'd be really really sold on it. But um, the way it is, I'm just kind of not quite falling in love with it. But I do, I do see that they are quite cool. And I mean, this guy here as well, like I don't know, he's just, he's just a space marine to me, really. So he just looks like a space marine. But they are cool, really cool. Very interested in seeing um, uh, if, there, if there's going to be much more coming out in the future. I mean, we've seen the rest of the range for this this wave is coming soon but um we'll have to see so yeah what do you think of the army you know am i being unnecessarily critical do you think that these are lovely and they are they are actually more tied into the original than uh, than i'm probably letting on or or do you agree that maybe they are slightly further away from games workshop warhammer 40,000 aesthetic so yeah what do you think um is this an army that you're interested in is this an army you're going to be doing let us know in the comments below and um yeah please like and subscribe um it really helps us to to get more views reach more people and um it's you know the, the channel's still quite young and we, we, we are building we've got some very cool uh campaigns coming up soon uh, again, if you'd like to, you know, maybe you'd like to let us know which system you'd be most interested to watch a campaign in, because um, we've got Warcry, uh, Necromunda, um, Warhammer 40,000. Um, it'd be really interesting to see what our viewer base would like to see more content of, because we have we have loads. It's just um, finding out which is which would kind of reach the the audience we have. So yeah. Um, Brilliant. Well, again, thanks for watching. Um, drop us a comment, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. So until then, please stay fluffy.